Here's all you need to know about taking a great ocean road tour from Melbourne to see the Twelve Apostles. Victoria is the second smallest state in Australia, but packed with abundant natural beauty, all of which is easily accessible on quick day trips from Melbourne. Of all the fantastic destinations, the one that really draws travelers from across the world is the Great Ocean Road. Most take this road trip to visit the iconic Twelve Apostles, but fall in love with the grandeur of nature. Here is how we took the Great Ocean Road tour. The Memorial Arch. The Great Ocean Road was built as a memorial for soldiers of World War I, and this timber arch commemorates them. There is also a plaque on the left side of the road which serves as a memory for the soldiers. A stunning addition to the surf coast is the Great Ocean's Chocolate Factory. Built in 2016, capturing the imaginations of chocolate lovers, young and old. Yes, upon arrival at the chocolate factory, you will discover three huge bowls of milk, dark, and white chocolates for you to taste. To help you decide on a favorite, you can ask to taste any of the 250 other varieties. Along with the chocolate, you can get free tastings of different ranges of ice cream flavors. It was a great stop for a chocolate and ice cream lover like me. I took some pictures with the chocolate kangaroos. Monumental, that's the word that can truly begin to capture the essence of the Great Ocean Road. The two-way highway is scenic as it gets and covers iconic landmarks. The Great Ocean Road has hosted a long list of TV commercial productions, documentaries, music videos, TV shows, and films, including Mad Max 1979. You can spot the family home of Mad Max on the drive. Only my dad was interested in that. An icon of the Great Ocean Road the Pole House is one of the Australian Traveller magazine's 100 Great Australian Holiday Homes. Widely known as the most photographed house along the Great Ocean Road, the Pole House is an iconic masterpiece. Spot the Split Point Lighthouse. While traveling at the Great Ocean Road coastline, Drive through the cult Apollo Bay and taste Vegemite ice cream. Vegemite toast would have to be one of the most popular breakfast dishes eaten by Australians. Die-hard fans won't even leave the country without a trusty jar of the black smelly stuff. Generally, you would fall in the two categories. Either you love it or you hate it. Kenneth River, one of the best places in Australia to view wild koalas. The area has a forest of gum and eucalyptus trees, which are the main source of food for the koalas. Certainly the colorful parrots will be there, ready for pictures. The Twelve Apostles were formed by erosion, the harsh and extreme weather conditions from the Southern Ocean gradually eroded the soft limestone to form caves in the cliffs, which then became arches and soon collapsed, leaving the rock stacks up to 160 feet high. The stacks are susceptible to further erosion from waves. In July of 2005, the 160 feet stacks collapsed 
leaving seven standing at the Twelve Apostles' viewpoint. Due to wave action eroding the cliffs, existing headlands are expected to become new limestone stacks in the future. The Gibson Steps Not for the faint-hearted, Gibson Steps are the set of 86 steep steps that head down from the cliffs to the beach near the Twelve Apostles. From below the steps, you can marvel at the 70 meter limestone stacks from up close and feel the power of nature. Going up is going to be a task though. London Arch is an offshore natural arch formation in the Port Campbell of Australia. These sheer cliffs that collapse down into the ocean are named for a shipwreck that wrecked here in 1878. Two unconnected stone pillars stand strong inside the gorge, named after Tom and Eva, the only two survivors of the incident. These paths and viewpoints run throughout the location. After enjoying the gorgeous sunset, we headed back to Melbourne, back on the Great Ocean Road. Enjoy the sights and sounds of this trip. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 